Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And a lot of you have been asking me about uh, the C updates for um, the bug fixes. We call them the C band updates uh, because they're technically what Microsoft called the C week or A, B, C, D in a letter. Uh, what happens is that Microsoft divides a month into the weeks A, B, C, and D. Uh, B being the Patch Tuesday week. And then we have what they call the C update, but it uh, doesn't always release on the C week. It can be D. Uh, depends on multiple factors when they are released for testing and when the testing is complete. So for Windows 10, we had the release yesterday and the Insider Preview of the C updates. So they are being tested in the Insider Previews now. So that when does that mean they're going to be released? Chances are probably only next week because they're going to probably take it a whole week to test them. But you never know, depending on how well it goes, because that's what they're actually looking at, how well the testing goes, how well the installs went. And after that, they'll decide when they're going to be released. So technically, it's not impossible that it could be later this week, but I doubt that it will be before next week. So I would expect the uh, updates for bug fixes, because these are only bug fixes in general, to be released uh, sometime next week for Windows 10. Um, it's interesting because I've seen a lot of people tell me that they install them anyways because they see that it actually makes the Windows Patch Tuesday updates install much faster. And it is normal because if you don't install them, um, you know, it's... A lot of you have been saying, yeah, well, you know, it's not really optional. And, and it's optional on the release date. But in fact, yes, indeed, it, they're, they're kind of mandatory because what happens is when Patch Tuesday arrives, the Patch Tuesday cumulative updates will see they're missing and will add them to the install, uh, which is kind of interesting. So it's, it's optional for a little while, but it does get mandatory when you get to the Patch Tuesday updates. That's the way cumulative updates are, in, are, are, are installed and work. You can't have any updates installed if you don't have the previous updates. Uh, it's the way that they have designed cumulative updates. So I would guess next week uh, is probably the time it's going to happen. As for uh, Windows 11, we still haven't seen Windows 11 um, bug fixing updates released. So I would guess that Windows 11 is the bug fixing update. Uh, will be released during the week, and they will probably show up also next week at some point uh, for the bug fixes. In general, both contain very similar bug fixing uh, fixes. They uh, are, you know, very closely tied together. So Windows 10 and Windows 11 doesn't have that much difference technically. So a lot of the bug fixes for one are also bug fixes for the other. There are a few differences, but not that much actually. So uh, for those that have been asking, sometime next week is my prediction for uh, the bug fixing updates or the C-band updates that are always called preview updates for Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.